you can see that the detection is happening perfectly fine which means that our model is trained hello and welcome to rocket systems youtube channel so in our previous video we discussed how we can install cuda and codnn with the gpu support on ubuntu machine now in this video we are going to train a custom model for a yolo v5 now i have this machine which has which has the gpu already set up so i can directly use this but if you don't have a machine with the gpu you can obviously use google collab for all your training purpose now once we have the model after the training we will then convert this model into a tensor art engine file and then we will do the inferencing on the jetson nano so our main target is to run the yolo v5 model on the jetson nano or jetson xavier so without wasting any time let's get started now first step is to collect your data set now you can use any you know images from the google or any other video and you can you can extract images from that video for this video demonstration purpose i'm just going to use this video which i have recorded so this is a video of the toys which i have uh, in my home so i'm just going to annotate all these images uh, so what i'll do is i'll i'll probably take like around 50 to 60 images from this video and then i'll annotate uh, all these images so let's do that so what you need to do is that you need to create a folder so let's create a folder with train data and inside train data we need to create two folders one will be for images and another folder will be for labels now inside inside images we will create two subfolders so one will be train and another will be for validation and then similarly for labels will create train and then we will create validation folders so basically the idea is that inside training data all the images will be inside this images directory and all the labels the annotation files will be inside the labels directory in the images directory we will obviously divide our data set into two part one is training data set and one is a validation data set so for example if you have 100 images uh, we'll use 80 images in the training data set and then we'll use 20 images in the validation data set and then all of their uh, labels and the annotation file will obviously be inside the labels and this train the validation so now I'll collect all the images from the video which I sh showed previously and then I'll save them inside these images and then we'll divide that into train and validation. Okay, so what I have done is that I have extracted some of some images from the video and then inside the images directory inside training I have placed all these images. So this is how the image is look like and then we'll do the annotation on these images. So I've taken around 40 images in the training data set and then similarly in the validation data set I've taken around 10 images. And as of now, my labels directory is completely empty. It doesn't have anything. So I think let's start uh, the annotation process now. So for the annotation part, so for the annotation part, you can use this label image software. This is a free open source software, but if you want, you can use any other uh, software. There are a lot of uh, uh, softwares available or you can do even do annotation online as well. So this is the software which I generally use for all my annotation and the installation is very simple. If you are in Ubuntu, you just have to um, follow these uh, commands and then you will install this uh, software. So let's open the software and then uh, I'll show you how you can do the annotation uh, part. Okay, so one more thing to notice here is that once you have uh, installed this label image software, so this label image software comes with some predefined classes inside this. So first step which you have to make sure is that you need to clear all those classes. So for that go to the, the location where you have installed your label image software and then inside the data directory you will find this predefined classes. So uh, there will be a lot of classes here like dog, cat, animals or you know car bikes and everything you have to clear all those classes and then just just empty this file and then save this file now once that is done i will open up uh, i will open a terminal inside this directory and then i will simply call Uh, the software so this is this is the kind of ui you get in the software now you need to open the directory where all your uh, images are uh, uh, saved so i'll click on this open directory and then we will go back to our compute uh, where is that folder we create data and then training data and then inside images inside training so we are first going to do annotation for the training so i'll open it 
so you'll see that it has loaded all the files here and then let's change the save directory so again inside data training data labels and training and then choose this one so this is the first image now before starting the annotation make sure you have selected yolo so because the by default it comes with pascal voc but you can change this to yolo and then you can click on this box to start the annotation process so i will start this and then let's name it as roller and then i'll save it and then i'll just do the annotation for the second image as well save it and then let's mark it as well perfect so it can take up to like you know 15 20 minutes or half an hour to complete all the annotation for all the files and then once that is done we'll resume the video but you have to make sure that you are doing the annotation process for both training and the validation data set so all of my annotation is now complete and i'm just quickly verifying if uh, the annotation is uh, fine or not so and it's also a good idea to quickly verify your annotation so it looks good now let's uh, let's uh, go back to our uh, yolo v5 repository and then uh, we'll start the training process okay so now that our training data set is ready we now need to clone this yolo v5 uh, repository now if you are on a google colab you can directly clone this repository from here but uh, because i'm on ubuntu machine so i'm going to clone this inside a conda environment so i have already created a conda environment uh, uh sorry i've already installed conda now i'm going to create a conda environment and then inside that environment we will uh, create uh, clone the repository so to create the environment i'm just going to simply run conda create minus and yolo v5 and i'll name this as yolo v5 custom and then we'll mention the python version so this is now going to create the environment select yes so the environment is now ready we can activate the environment perfect so because it says yolo v5 custom so that means we are inside our environment and uh, we can also verify this by simply typing which python 3 so this will show us the python 3 uh, is from the anaconda and from our custom environment which we just created so next thing we need to do is we need to clone the repository so i'll simply move inside the documents directory and then git clone and i'll just copy this url and we'll paste it here perfect now let's move inside this directory and now we need to uh, install all the requirements so there is a requirement.txt file so we can simply run python 3 minus m pip install minus r requirements.txt but what i like to do is because i'm in the conda environment so i might i want to make sure that i'm uh, hitting the right uh, python interpreter so i'll just simply copy this and i'll paste it here so this is just to make sure that i'm using the the python from my uh, conda environment not the local uh, system interpreter so i'll just simply run this now and this will install all the requirements so all the requirements are now complete now what we need to do is i'll copy my training data this train data inside the yolo v5 uh, repository which we just cloned and inside the yolo v5 repository inside the data directory i will paste it here now we need to update one file so this is the coco 128 file so i'll just make a copy of this and then i'll rename this And let's open it up now inside the inside this uh, particular file we first need to make sure that we are mentioning all the names which we have in data set so in our case we just have three uh, three labels so I'll just remove all these labels from here and I'll simply mention the labels which uh, we have here so I'll mention car 
roller sorry roller should be first so roller car and phone so you basically need to mention all the labels which you have in your uh, data set and then after this you can comment out this particular line and then you can also comment out test because we don't have the test data set and then in the training uh, line we have to mention the full path of where our training images are present so in my case they are present inside this document yolo v5 data train data images and then in your case it can be different but you have to make sure that you are passing the correct full path of your training data set and then similarly here you have to pass full data set full path for your validation data set so that's all uh, we need to do uh, in this particular file uh, we can close this file now and now we can simply uh, start our training by mentioning this command so this command is basically so this is the python uh, three interpreter and then train.py and then we are passing the image size of the model which we are going to use so we are basically going to use the yolo v5s but if you want you can use any other model as well like uh, nano or large version so we are passing the image size we are passing the batch size we are passing the epoch so as of now i'm just going to run it for 100 epochs but if you want you can run it for 200 300 or 400 epochs and then here we are just passing our custom uh, data yml file which we just created so let's run this to see if the training starts perfectly fine or not. So now it's downloading the model and it looks now it's scanning all our training and the validation data set. And it looks like it's now finally started doing the training. So Yes, yeah, so now the training is has started and probably it will take around uh, half an hour to complete. So once that is done, we'll resume the video and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so our model is now trained and the result is now saved inside this particular directory. So let me just quickly go and have a look. So if you go to documents, YOLO v5 and then runs and then train and then weights and this is our model file now let's quickly test it if it's working fine or not so in order to test our model file i'm just going to use this detect.py which is already present inside our um uh, the repository so i've mentioned this python 3 path then detect.py and then in the weights i've mentioned the full path to where my weight is present and then in the source file i've mentioned the same uh, video file which I, I used to extract the images so let's run this file and then this will this will basically uh, load the model file and then process all the frames from the from the video and then we will see if it's able to de detect our toys or not okay so the processing of this video file is also done and this is saved inside this particular directory let's go to the directory so which is this detect and then and then this is the file so let's quickly play this file and we can see that the detection is happening perfectly fine which means that our model is trained now next thing which we need to do is that we will export this model to our Jetson Nano and then on Jetson Nano we will uh, convert this custom Yolo v5 model into a TensorRT engine and then we will see how it's performing on Jetson Nano so that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel